Hi guys, this is Duncan from Mob3.net and today we're going to be talking about the state of custom theming on Windows 10. A couple of weeks ago, Illich4 made a post on my website about using custom themes on Windows 10 through UX style and classic shell. These two are great utilities, but I will be showing you another one that has more customization to it and more safeguards. And safeguards are very important for this because there's a high risk of bricking your system if you do it wrong. So be very careful when you're doing this sort of stuff. Okay, uh, Neo has created a bunch of stuff over on DeviantArt, which is custom themes. I really wanted to show you this Arc Windows 10 theme. It looks really nice, but he's put them all up for purchase. And I don't have any of this DeviantArt dollar, whatever this currency is. So I can't show you, unfortunately. But uh, this kind of gives you an idea of what will get skinned. Unfortunately, it's not as like it used to be like on Windows XP, where you could completely do your taskbar and all that sort of stuff. That's not really going to change. You can change the color, but other than that, that's all you can do. So I'm going to be using AIDS VS Windows 10 for this. That's a free download. I'll provide the link in the description and the black theme toolkit to set our system up. Why am I using this? Like I said, a lot of safeguards provided and also version 1.2.1, 1st of October 2016. Today's date is the 1st of October 2016 as of recording this video. You'll see this version supports up to version 14.3.9.6. Now to find your Windows version, Windows key and R, type W-I-N-V-E-R or Winver, and you'll see I've got 14.3.9.3, which is the anniversary update. So this actually supports above my version, so that's pretty cool. Let's go into running black theme toolkit, shall we? So yes, choose a color preference, that's just for the command window, don't worry about this. We're just going to do the white on black. As we've said before, this is uh, something you use at your own risk and it does theme other things such as the modern apps and uh, media player, things like that. So pretty cool stuff. I'm gonna press enter. Would you like to create a restore point? I highly recommend you do so. I've done it already. Um, like I say, you have a high risk of bricking it, but you may be able to bring it back to a salvageable state if you make a resource uh, re restore point, sorry. Okay, so I'm going to say no for this, and we've, I've already changed my UAC settings. You may want to do it. It's that little pop-up that says, do you want to change things, blah, blah, blah. I'm just going to press 5 for that for me. Now, this is the main menu. Depending on what build you're running, you should choose what you want to install. If I was to press 3, that will install this black theme, and essentially what that is is completely darkened everything, and it will put it in your themes and your personalize. There's a bunch of different colors with that as well. You can use that, but... Uh, just for the sake of this video and doing custom things, we're going to press 5. So, here we are. You can use it on RS1, RS2, which is what we're kind of using here on Windows 10 at the moment. Uh, I'm you just have to really press 1. I'm not going to bother showing you because this literally, oh, blah, 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 is installed. Restart the PC. So, we're going to assume that you've done that. You've now restarted your PC and you now have this custom theme. So, I'm going to go to the anniversary update. A lot of the themes that you'll find will have different versions, so make sure you get the right one. And it's literally a case of copying this into the themes folder. So I'm just going to take these files and I'm going to go to C, Windows, Resources, as you can see it typed it there, Themes. And very much like earlier versions of Windows, you just need to paste them into there. So now if I want to run it, I double click the AIDS one. One unfortunate name, and as you can see, it has completely reskinned my system. It's as simple as that. So if I quickly go into the black theme toolkit and show you the extra customization that you can do, we go to do, press enter. Also, if you notice here, it does say if you're reading this, your OS is compatible, so it will fail out if you don't have a compatible system. Five, and you'll see desktop customizations, file explorer, cleanup. These are the ones that are quite cool. Go to seven, and as you can see, you can do a bunch of things like enabling, disabling, you can add aero, all that sort of stuff can be done within this toolkit. So I highly recommend it. I'll provide the download link in the description. If you have any other ways to do this, I will be making a mod three post on the forums. I'll link that in the description description as well so we can keep this up to date collect some themes put them together that you can download for free um, by the way if you have been signed up to mob 3 from 2008 yep eight years ago i have revived the system we've got over 60,000 posts i've combined everything i've ever done all into this website so you'll find a lot of things here so i'd love to see you over there that's about it really thanks for watching this video please comment rate subscribe if you like these videos and thanks again